So, you found a video on the web that you want to download or you want to copy, but there's no link to the actual file. And you can't copy it from your temp folder because the file is locked. Well, most people already know this, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. First, if you're on YouTube, for example, or Xtube or some other um, video sharing service, wait for the video to download. I'm going to choose a small video, in this case, um, this one. I want to know. Pause it. Just allow it to download completely. It's only about, this is 30 seconds long. And once it completely downloads, there we go, there we go, yeah. Open up your, the drive that your uh, Windows temporary location is at. Mine's on C drive. Okay, then you go to your documents and settings. And owner, in my case, local settings. Open your temp folder. And click the size so that the largest file is at top and it should be the flash temp file and you should see it here and one program you might want to get right click it I download a program called unlocker as you can see there it's a little blurry but the program is called unlocker you click it and it will release the file handle there's the file name right there and it gives you various choices to uh, delete the file, rename the file, move the file, or copy it. If you want to copy it to a new location, it will give you an open dialog. In my case, I'm sending it to my Flash movie folder. And since it's a Flash video, you have to save it with an FLV extension. So I'm just going to give it an arbitrary name, movie.flv. And you press enter and it lets you know that the object was copied and you can now quit and it's exit here now let's go to our flash folder where we copied it okay going to go into my uh, movies we have my flash movies and here I have my flash movie right here let's uh, use the uh, there we go now, I use a program called Flash Video Player 1.33. I want to know, why is... And as you can see, the file can now play. I use FLV Player 1.33. And as you can see, the file is now on my hard drive. In the original format in which it was created. Uh, and you can also make it large. With this program, you can see various file properties. It's a really good program. I like it. And it's allowed me to save a lot of videos that I liked. And even make copies of my own, just in case if I lost the original file. And again, this saves it in a flash video format. Okay? So, you need a flash video player in order to see it. Okay? And, uh, that's that. And, uh, yeah. Now I'm officially a, a bad guy sharing bad information about how to do bad stuff on the internet. Look at me. I'm evil. Shame on me. Shame on me! Yeah, well, okay. Bye. Say goodbye, Hammy. Goodbye, people!